We are about to do something that I have always wanted to do. Today, guys, we are over here at a creek. This is not just any creek, though. This is a creek that is loaded with one specific species that we are going to try to get on here today and hopefully cook up. We are going to be on the hunt for some crawfish. Now, there are a bunch of rocks. And overall, I mean, this creek is just the perfect habitat for crawfish. Now, it is like winter-ish. I've never really tried to hunt these dudes down in the winter. I've not eaten yet today. I'm like really, really hungry. I'm really hoping we can get on some crawfish because if we do, I brought some stuff for a little crawfish boil. This isn't Louisiana. We are here in Delaware. I don't really know if this is going to work or not, but basically, y'all, we're going to get over here. We're going to start waiting in this creek. Hopefully, man, we can make this happen. All right, y'all, this is going to be where we're working first. I'm going to try to find the spots like right over there that have like less moving water. This water usually isn't rushing this much, but I mean, that's fine. I'll just avoid those areas because it's going to be harder to see into the water, you know? All right, y'all, GoPro mode engaged. We're about to get in here and wade. Dude, I'm not going to lie, man. I did not expect it to be this cold today. This water, I mean, I know this water is going to be freaking freezing. I'm going to be needing to get my hands wet, so hopefully like we could find some before they fall off. All right, y'all, welcome to crawfish hunting class. I'm probably not a very good instructor. Step one, locate a rock. Step two, Ugh! flip the rock step three look and see if there's any crawfish hiding under the rock which does not really look like all right that was not the rock really all this is man is finding the right rock it sounds pretty easy but this could be a lot harder than it seems actually huh now really from my past experiences i mean the crawfish could be under small rocks they could be under larger rocks i gotta admit though i have never like searched for them this late in the year it's like freaking december man this water i think is like 40 ish degrees maybe colder now if i was a crawfish all right, y'all, I've been doing this for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Oh, guys, I see one. It is right there. It's not the biggest crawfish I've ever seen. I don't want this guy to get away here. Oh, dude, this freaking water is cold, man. I barely feel my hands. All right, he's right under this rock. So when I pick this up, he's right there. Got him. There we go, guys. Whew, first crawfish of the day. This is a freaking, like, look how small that one is. Oh, my hands are so cold, dude. I probably should have brought, like, waterproof gloves or something because I cannot. I mean, my hands are about to freaking fall off. All right, there we go, y'all. First crawfish of the day. We're just going to leave them in that pan for now. That is a good sign, though, man. I mean, there's definitely crawfish in here. They're just under these freaking iceberg rocks. All right, let's get back out there. We got to find some bigger ones, man. That is definitely not going to be big enough here for, uh, I mean, you know, eating. Whew, all right, y'all, that, oh my God, I almost just freaking. Oh, all right, well, that was a good feeling. Whenever you catch where you were hunting, I mean, that's, you know, that's a good thing. Somebody's little jig. It looks like this thing's actually been here for a little while. Treasure hunting, crawfish hunting, all in one. I just actually saw, like, I don't know if there are little shrimp type things in this water or if those are like freaking parasites or something. There was two of them and they were kind of swimming in a pair and it, I don't know, they just look freaking weird. We got another one in here. Oh my goodness. Oh man, he was under this big rock right here. I flipped it. He just booked it right over here and he went out the current. Ah! You have a very limited time to act once you flip the rock because then they're just going to book it. But at the same time, it's very cloudy, so it's like hard to see, you know, because all that sediment rises up when you flip the rock. I wonder if I could flip this. Nope. Another little baby, man. This is the second. There's actually another one right by his... All right. There were actually two under that rock. Is there any more right there? That was a good rock. All right, y'all. So this is by far the biggest one that we've caught here today. I mean, we probably, I mean, yeah, I think we'll be able to eat this guy. These other two, though, are very, very small. I'm going to keep hunting a little bit more. Yeah, man. That is, is how we've really been able to get here. These little dudes are masters at hiding, man. They'll literally be under the rock. And I mean, they really do blend in with everything. I mean, the sediment, the other rocks. You got to have a really keen eye when you're looking out for them. But this rock right here, I just flipped that over and this is uh, this is where it originally was and that's where I found those two crawfish, crayfish, crawdads. All right guys, so before we even come in here, the premise of this video was gonna kind of be like a taste test. I just said we are gonna be making a crawfish boil. We're actually about to get that started right now, man. I'm so freaking excited. But to add another layer to this video, I went to the grocery store and I bought a pound of like normal crawfish that you buy, you know, like at the grocery store. And we were gonna catch crawfish here and we were gonna make a comparison to see like if they taste different or which one tastes better. Since we only have three crawfish here and two are probably like way too small to eat, we're gonna be using those smalls for fishing to see if we can get any fish on them and that still leaves us with one i mean the other one is not like the biggest but it's, it's big enough to eat we could still do the taste test comparison with that we came prepared today man let me show y'all how this is going to go down oh, so we're actually borrowing kelsey's water bottle but we're just going to put a decent amount of water here probably yeah that should be good all right let's turn this thing on Put this water on there. All right, now pretty much all we're doing, we got the water in here. We're just gonna let that 
boil up. Now, while the water is heating up to boil, we're gonna add some of this Old Bay seasoning right here. We're actually gonna add like a lot to it. All right, so we got the Old Bay in there. We got the water. Wait till that heats up. Now, while our water is heating up, I have an ultralight rod. We have a little split shot, a little hook. We're gonna put one of these smaller crawfish on here and cast it into this little pool right here. Oh my gosh, dude. It smells literally so freaking good. Sheesh. Oh my God, did I just get bit? Bro, right when I casted that in, dude, something just freaking chomped. There's like, what? All right, I wonder if this hook's too small. I got another one on there right now. Let's toss him out there. Now these are like, I mean, this is really good bait. As you can see, I pulled them right from here. So there's definitely a forage of fish that live in this creek. Come on. All right, let me check up on this right here. That is, ooh, it's a little steamy up in here, man. Look at that, that is rolling boil we came prepared today let's get some potatoes out of here oh, three potatoes different looks like they're all different colors oh gosh throw all these into our little boil right there as well as a little piece of corn right there just throw that guy in put the lid back on we're gonna let that get back get hot start boiling a little bit until we add the main ingredient really quickly guys if you are enjoying this video man i'm having so much fun making this i've always wanted to make a boil like outside also i don't know if i've ever mentioned this or not but i've only tried crawfish one other time that was in a different ketchup cook i'll link that up there i like fried them in butter i didn't i had no clue what i was doing man everybody's like yo you gotta boil a crawfish to today we're boiling them in a seafood i guess crawfish boil but yeah we're gonna let this heat up right there man that is looking pretty freaking good oh yes sir look at that boil in there man we got the corn we got the potatoes those are cooking up let's get into this bag here all right so these are the crawfish that i got from the grocery store oh my god dude look how freaking big that is dude you could probably even eat the claws man look how oh my god i did not know that these are this big for comparison this is the one that i caught that i thought was big and then this is the I said I mean this is the biggest one I caught here, but dude. Alright, first dude that's gonna go in. Let's wash him off here. This is the guy that we got at the creek. I'm gonna throw him in right there. Now we can start. Oh my god, dude. Holy freaking crap. Throw a couple of these guys in there. Now these are already oh gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking giant. All right, crawfish in the boil. We got corn, we got potatoes. Let's put that lid on. Sorry if I'm making any of you guys hungry, man. I'm like already hungry. I'm making myself more hungry. Whew. All right, but yeah, guys, we're gonna save those other crawfish and the other corn and the other potatoes for a different meal. This should be pretty good here, man, for a nice little solo meal on the water. It should not be too long here. Now, those ones that I bought at the grocery store were already cooked and mine was a little small one and I'm pretty sure the potatoes and the corn should be pretty close to being done. So I'm just gonna wait till that gets back to a little bit of a boil and I mean, yeah, man, we're gonna be good to freaking go. In the meantime, I've had this rod just kind of like sitting here in this rock and it has the crawfish on it. Huh. I'm surprised at the lack of like interest really in this crawfish. All right, y'all, I think it is finally time, man. This is a nice little rolling boil right here. Kind of open that up, dude. I think we are good here, man. Let me pour this water out right there. If only y'all could smell this right now, man. I mean, what the heck could possibly be better than this? Crawfish boil on the water. Now, I know I did not catch all of these crawfish. Actually, I'm gonna see which one is the one that I put in there. All right, y'all, so I don't know. I mean, it's pretty hard to tell which is the one that I caught. All right, y'all, let's get this started here. I took one of these guys out. I mean, if you could see that, man, that is freaking ridiculous. The size of these crawfish is like bonkers dude. So I remember actually last time I ate crawfish in that one catching hook that I did, I looked up how to eat them, but since then I might have been, I might have forgot. Oh, all right. I know people suck, um, they suck the head, right? There's like eggs in this one. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna suck the head. Um, I feel like these claws could actually, I feel like these claws could actually give you some meat. That one did. Yeah, not much meat actually in the claws. Huh. So I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. The tail meat is like the majority of the meat and then you could suck the head. There will be no head sucking today from this video. I know that might trigger some of y'all. So that was actually pretty good. Now we're gonna go over to this little dude right here, man. It's like a little freaking pipsqueak. All right, there we go. All right, the meat's a lot whiter. It tastes... It kind of tastes the same, actually. Obviously, one's like a lot bigger piece of meat than the other one, but let's get this pot over here. Dude, Whew, I am so ready for this. Let's try these potatoes here. 
I freaking love potatoes, especially in a seafood boil. Now, I was actually watching, if, I don't know if you guys ever seen like mukbangs, mukbangs, anything like that. It's like this interesting category on YouTube where you sit there and you watch people eat food. I mean, I, I don't really watch this, but it was like recommended, so I clicked on it. And people were eating seafood boils and like crawfish boils and crab, king crab. I feel like that's what I'm here doing right now, man, but let's try I love potatoes. Now I really do wish I bought like a little, like a, like a little pan for like butter. Put some Old Bay, put some butter, whip that up. Freaking potatoes, I love potatoes. I actually cooked that like perfect too. I don't know if there's like a wrong way to cook a potato. Definitely cooked them right though. All right, let's get another crawfish out of here, man. That last one we had was definitely a female. Let's see, ooh, look at that right there. And that's freaking good, dude. Perfect though. I know I'm gonna get roasted for my crawfish eating skills in the comments. Yeah, man. Let's see, we have a different, I mean, we had, we had three different colored potatoes. This is like the darkest one. Let's see here. Yo, for freezer section frozen corn, dude, this is the freaking truth. This is freaking juicy, man, and you get like the taste of the Old Bay. Like there's a little like spicy, little saltiness. This is some good freaking stuff, man. The last potato. Man, I should freaking do this more often. As I said before, man, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. It lets me know you guys, you know, like the kind of content I'm making. Also, let me know in the comments below, like what other videos you'd like to see. I mean, they could be like this, man. If you guys want to see any other Kedrick Cooks, any other seafood boils, we could definitely make that happen. Oh my gosh. This piece of meat right there is literally bigger than the whole like crawfish we caught shell and all Good. I mean as I said, it's like my second time trying crawfish, but I freaking like yo There's some good stuff. We're gonna finish this up now We do have a little bit more daylight before the Sun actually goes down So we're gonna go ahead and walk down this creek a little bit I'm gonna bring some lures out and we're gonna see if we can get on any fish here There might be some holdover stock trout in here. That, I mean there could be anything in here. So yeah I'm gonna finish this up right here. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. So I just walked all the way down stream like a pretty good amount and I uh, did not really find any good spots or any fish really. I didn't see anything. So I came back up this way. I fished this spot. I mean, you guys have seen me fish here in a couple different videos. Oh, was that a rock or was that a white jig on a little white jig head? It's just like a tiny little minnow imitation. It's getting to that time of year here in Delaware where it's like live bait or you know, I don't know, you know, I mean, it's like you have to almost pick what fish you're going for and how to target it. Unless you're just like chucking night crawlers out here, you can catch like anything. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this around for a little bit more, man. It's just been such an awesome day. Getting a trout on top of all this, whoo, that would be a, uh, that would be a doozy. All right, y'all, well, that is, I mean, pretty much all the time I have here to fish today. The sun is about to set down. I have some stuff I gotta get done tonight. I actually have to edit this whole video tonight. The month of December on this channel, man, is gonna be freaking insane. I'm gonna try to upload every two days. I'm challenging myself, man. Now, the editing is gonna be a struggle. I mean, I'm kinda like, yeah, it takes a long time to edit this video, man. To give you guys a little insight, like from the time that I have all the footage and it's up on my computer to the time where, I mean, I'm ready to post the video, it's live, it's public. That whole process takes at least six hours, man. I take a lot of pride in my editing. You know that, and then plus all the time you go out there fishing, I I mean, I do live in Delaware. That's why I'm not posting every day. I'm gonna try to post every two days because some days, I mean, you don't, you know, you go out there and you don't catch any fish or maybe all you catch is bluegill. But yeah, pretty much guys, we're gonna see how it goes. Now my schedule was, I was trying to post every three days. This is gonna be every two days. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher. But I'm up for the challenge, man. I hope you guys are excited for that. There's gonna be a lot of content coming here. Now I know I talked about the whole road trip, me going down the East Coast, down to Florida. We're gonna just postpone that to January now. It's not gonna be in December. I'm gonna, I have something to reveal to you guys. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy that, man. This is gonna be so cool. I don't wanna to give too much away, but dude, this channel, there's just such cool stuff coming, man. I hope you guys are excited because I'm freaking so excited. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much gonna be it here for this video today. This is probably one of my favorite videos that I made like all year. It's supposed to be a taste test, you know, wild creek crayfish versus like store bought crayfish, crawfish, crawdads. I mean, we did do that, kind of worked out, but not really, they taste the same. One was just bigger, one was smaller. It really, it didn't taste different at all. As I said though, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, man. I had so much fun making it. If you have not already, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. And also, man, if you do enjoy my videos and if you're not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. I hope y'all are hyped, man, because this December is about to be crazy. Thank you guys so much again for all these support. I really, really do appreciate it, man. It means the freaking world to me. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.